First things first, as usual, I'm gonna start off with my eyebrows and I'm using my Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil in the shade number six to fill them in. Next, I'm taking this concealer palette by MAC and I'm using that shade that I just pointed at to pretty much carve out my eyebrows underneath to make them look more defined and sharper. Also blending the concealer down using a fluffy blending brush. To prime my eyes, I'm using the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot and with a flat brush, I'm just applying it all over my lid and then blending it out using the same brush as before. For my eyeshadows today, I'm gonna be using the Natasha Denona eyeshadow palette, the mini lilac one. I'm gonna go ahead and take the shade Raisin and place that on my crease as my transition shade. Now I'm first packing on the color and then using window wiping and circular motions to blend the product out. Then I'm gonna use the shade Poison Berry to add a little bit more dimension to this crease and to darken it up a little bit more. Then I'm going back and forth between brushes to make sure that the eyeshadows are very well blended. Now for the star of the show, I'm using the shade Blue Dahlia on my finger and applying this right on my lid so that the shade is very pigmented. And then I'm pretty much packing this all the way up to the crease, almost touching that Poison Berry shade. And then taking the brush that I use for Poison Berry and using that to blend Blue Dahlia with the transition shades. And this made it look really beautiful, very nice and smoky. I love this shade. To darken it up a little bit more, I'm actually using these two shades from the Anastasia Beverly Hills Alyssa Edwards palette and using those right on the outer corner with a smaller blending brush to add a little bit more dimension. And for my lashes, I'm using the Lily Lashes in the style Rome. Moving on to my face, I'm gonna be using the Photo Finish Primer by Smashbox, which has silicone in it, so it's gonna smooth down my skin. I'm gonna go ahead and just press it down so that way I have a base for my base. And then I'm gonna go ahead and use a mixture of the L'Oreal Pro Matte Infallible Foundation in the shade Caramel Beige. And then I'm also mixing the Il Maquillage Foundation in the shade 140. And I'm gonna go ahead and pretty much do a little mixture of both and apply it to my face using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Beauty Blender. I'll be completely honest, this was my first time using this sponge and it's not bad, I don't hate it, but I wish that the end that's pointy was a little bit more comfortable to get under the eyes because it was a little bit difficult to blend stuff in there. Then I'm gonna go ahead and take the same concealer that I used for my brows. I'm gonna use that pretty much underneath my eyes and my T-zone to highlight and conceal. And same thing, using the same beauty blender, I'm just gonna go ahead and blend it out. Now in order to set everything, I'm gonna be using the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. Y'all know the drill here. We're gonna go ahead, place this under the eyes, a T-zone, anywhere where we might get oily, anywhere the makeup can tend to move a little bit more. And then I'm gonna be using my Chocolate Soleil Bronzer in the shade medium to deep, I think this one is. I'm gonna go ahead and use that as my bronzer and pretty much placing this on my cheekbones, the temples, the jawline, just adding some color back into my face because this uh, powder does tend to pale me out a little bit more. So I just wanna add a little bit more color back into my face using a bronzer. And this one actually smells really good. It actually does smell like chocolate. Now, I did use a little bit of poison berry and raisin on my lower lash line, but I felt like it needed a little pop of color. So I went ahead and I applied my Urban Decay Glide On Slide On Pencil in the shade Chaos, and that really, really made the look. I feel like this is what really brought it all together. Next, to add some more coverage, I'm gonna be using my MAC Mineralized Skin Powder in the shade NC42, right on my T-zone. Also using that to remove the bake so that way we don't have that white cast and it actually looks a little bit more skin tone-like. And then I'm spraying the MAC Fix Plus with the cucumber scent in it all over my face. Guys, next I'm using the Angelic Beauty Loose Highlighting Powder and oh my freaking God, this made me glow all the way up to heaven. Look at this. Look at her. We don't know her here. 
Look at that. It's so beaming. It's so beautiful. And it looks very skin-like, which I love so much. I'm going to go ahead and put this right on my cheekbones, the nose, the temples, lips, the inner corner of the eyes. And I'm using the same old lipstick that I used before because it's like the perfect nude shade for me. Do not judge me. And then applying the Boxum Lip Gloss on top to plump up my lips a little bit, not that I need it. But I still love the effect of it. And then finishing off with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Pencil in the shade Ebony. I mean, not brow pencil, brow gel in the shade Ebony. And I did get a little bit of a trim, so I'm gonna go ahead and pretty much place this right on my beard and mustache too. And that is it for this look. I really hope that you guys liked it. And if you guys did, please make sure to at least give me a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, the usual. If you want to follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, any of those links will be down below, as well as the products that I used in this video and my coupon codes too. I really hope to see you guys next time and bye.